One momento. Oh, we're recording. We're recording. I think it doesn't actually say. Yes, it does. We're recording. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited that you are all here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just jump into this. And I have all my notes in my phone here. So it's not that I'm looking down away from you. But I want to make sure that I stayed on topic because that's so much I want to talk to you guys about. So I want to talk to you about holiday open houses um, in person and virtual. Um, I have seen these be so super successful and I've seen them flop not just for people that I know but for myself as well and so when they were both I had to take a step back and go what did we do to make them super successful and what didn't I do to make them flop so let's go over this a little bit so in person first here's just some tips for you um, to make them successful number one um, I shouldn't say number one because I do have some number one, twos, and threes. So this is just something is you need to have it for two days. For example, Thursday from five to eight and Saturday from one to three. So when you're calling people and you're asking them if they can come and they're like, like, oh, I'm having my holiday open house from Thursday from five to eight. Can you come? And they're like, um, they're like, no, I can't. Oh, it stinks. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. but I'm also having them Saturday to one to three. Can you make it to that? So you give them a choice just got a text message saying that people are not getting on because the link is not working. So let's just take a moment, one momento to find out if this is, I mean, I'm seeing that there are a lot of people on right now, but there's, um, let me see what people are saying. I just used the link and got here just fine. Okay. So Patricia, if you could, um, or somebody go, thank you guys, go on champion and just maybe like, um, tell them to start again or something or click and see if that works. I'm not exactly sure um, Why but that would be super fantastic. Oh, tick, tick, tick. oh Chris is on Where's Chris? Oh, hi Chris. There you are. Hello um, Wonderful. Okay, so I'm really glad I just want to make sure that people were getting on the one to get on So I have two dates um, it, the only problem with this is if you have um, like like I have a small place and even when I lived in Ohio, I had a smaller, like I had a house, but it was a smaller house. And when I had two day open house events, I would like, it would drive me crazy because I actually would, you know, um, set it up a little bit around my house. So I would have my living room, you know, like not looking like a living room, you know, I'd have tables set up and stuff. So if I did it like on a Thursday and a Saturday, so then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I had three days of it then my cats would jump on there and knock things over and I'm just like, ah, so, okay, that might be something for you to think about. Um, if you want to take it down and put it back up, but I just want to give you a heads up that that could be an issue, um, or not. So this gives variety to your guests when you invite them, treat yourself as if you were the hostess. All right. So start making a guest list, go over. Okay. So how do you make your guest list? This is how people make their guest list. And it sometimes isn't super successful. They'll go, oh, I'm going to invite my mom, my sister, my best friend. And you're on your phone. Ooh, two checks. I mean, it's going to be really great. And then you don't do anything else with it, right? And then you're like, why didn't anybody show up? I posted on Facebook. I texted four people. And I'm like, well, okay. I have somebody actually calling me saying they cannot get on. So I'm going to pause the recording. I'm so... Okay, we're back to recording. Like, I know you guys are all watching, but like, I repaused and then recorded. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, treat yourselves if you're the hostess. So, start making a guest list. So, go over all your past parties and be sure to invite the guests and the hostesses too. So, um, this is how I do mine, and everybody's different of how they do theirs, and that's totally fine. But this is how I do mine because I need to keep my mind like focused. So, I have these envelopes right here, and this is what I use. Um, they're actually cheaper if you buy them in bulk at Staples than they are if you buy them um, in a smaller package at Walmart. So you buy, I buy them in bulk, and then um, I didn't fill this one out yet because, uh, where's one I've already filled out? Well, they're underneath here. But um, I put out the host's name and address and all of that jazz right here, right? And they fit into a filing cabinet. So if you're a filing cabinet person, that's perfect. But for me, I'm not. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So I take out, I put all of my um, orders and all my order forms and all that stuff in here. So I actually have one that I'm working on that's right here that was in here. And so I would pull all of this out. And I have all their information, right? Like right here, I have all their information. And so I'd make my list and I'd say, I'm gonna invite Jean, I'm gonna invite Kristen, I'm gonna invite Kim, I'm gonna invite, um, well that's Kim and Kristen, so I have more. I'm gonna invite Michelle, I'm gonna invite um, Lori. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna invite all of these people. I have their name and address and phone number, right? Because 
This is what we do at the very beginning of our parties. We ask for their name and phone number and address. I'm going to invite Lisa. So all of these people that I've met, excuse me, at a party, um, I'm going to invite them. So this is how you're going to get your holiday list. Um, your open house list together. So it's not just people that you know, because you have met these people, you know them, but if they've already come to one party, chances are they want to come to something else. And this is a little bit different because, you know, you don't have to do a whole demonstration and all of that. It's kind of like an open house, right? They can come anytime between five and nine. They can check it out. They can buy cash and carry. Um, if you want to have something made, they're like, I made this in my pressure cooker today, guys. Test it out. Try it. Or I made this sauce on this guacamole and my power chef and here's the recipe would you like to take it home so it's something that gets to physically take home you can do that that way it's not like it's not like extra extra work because if you're doing a demonstration every time somebody comes you can be doing like 15 of them um all right so so maybe guess let's go over oh i said all that invite your friends and family of course but don't stay there so invite your neighbors and your co-workers there's no reason why you can't now some of you live in warm weather and some of you don't but if you live in warm weather right now or even if you don't live in warm weather but it's warm like i'm told that my friends back in ohio like it snowed yesterday but the day before it was like in the 80s and so you never know what it's going to be like but check your weather and see if you can even make it outside because if you can make it outside then you can have you know like a um a dry party is what my friend Pam Callahan calls it and you can invite your neighbors um, you want to invite 30 to 100 people it seems like a whole lot but as we know that if we invite 30 to 100 we're probably gonna get like 15% of that this will work if you want if you want it to be successful so how well first of all it's going to be work excuse me this will be work <laughs> if you want it to be successful I think that's what people um, have this problem thinking is that Here's what not to do. You're going to put it on Facebook invite. You're going to post on your Facebook page, and then you're going to complain that no one came. And, oh, you might text a couple of people last minute. And I, I know I've done this before, and I know some of you have probably done this before, too. And so this is something, it, it's going to be work, and it's your own party. So it is going to be a little bit of work, um, but the payoff is going to be so great. So here's how you're going to invite. You have um, the phone call, the virtual invite, the mailed invite, and the phone bite. You've got four. And I'm going to break these down and tell you how to do all four. So if you're taking notes, there's four that you're going to do. So number one is the phone call. This is going to be very difficult for some of you, so take a very deep breath, okay? You're going to actually physically have to call them. Like, not text. Like, pick up the phone and dial their number and go, hi! Ring, 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 then, you know, it's Samantha. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you. I called you on the phone. I know that's going to be difficult for some of you because we don't like to make phone calls, but go back to your youth. Do you remember when you begged your mom and dad for your own phone line because you, you just had to have your own phone line in your bedroom, right? Because you had to make phone calls and be on it all day long. I know I'm not the only one that, that did this. Okay, so we're going to have to go back and pretend that we love the phone. And actually, just if you say it long enough to yourself, you will love the phone. So you need to call everyone. If you have 100 people on your list, it might take a little bit of time. Um, but do it. Do it. You might have to break it up so you need to call like 20 a night, you know, or, you know, 20, 30. Or, and it actually goes a lot quicker than you would think. Um, that's funny. For sure. um, it might go a lot quicker than you think. I remember um, with Jenny once. Um, I said, Jenny, I'm going to call all these people. And there was like 25 of them. And I thought it was going to take forever. And it took me less than like 20 minutes because not everybody always answers, right? Have a script ready of what you will say if they answer and if they don't for a voicemail. Keep track of who you call and who you talk to and who said yes and who said no. So sometimes people like to do Excel. Some people just like to have a notebook. Some people like to just open it up and just, you know, like literally a notebook, a piece of paper. Um, some people want to make a sheet you know, that has like, it looks like Excel, but you can write in it. it however you want to do it. It does not matter to me. It just how it matters to you. Some people are more techie than others. Um, I like being techie, but I like writing it down. I'm a pen and paper kind of girl. So then we have the mail outs. You do not have to mail out 100 invites unless you want to. That can get expensive. Pick out your top 20 people you want there. That way, it will only cost you a book of stamps. You're going to invite them with an invite. And so I actually have, um, I was going to pull these out and then I forgot. They're right here. 
I would buy these in colored ones because I think the colored ones are cuter, but I don't have the colored ones here right now. Um, but you can get colored ones at Office Max or Staples. So you're gonna get one of these and then you're gonna have an invite. And I, um, I actually made a holiday open house invite. This is not it, that's four to a page like this though. Just, I just wanna show you the four to a page. Um, and then you can get cardstock and just print them off. And don't worry, I'm, gonna, I'm going to post all of this stuff for you so that you guys have it. Um, and so if you have all the information on there and then you can cut them out and then you put one inside of here and then there's this announcement thing. And we learned this at Fall Fest. If you were at the Cleveland Fall Fest from Steve Wilshire, um, it's on my phone and I, um, I can't, well, I could show you actually, but I don't think it'll make a difference because it's like a picture and I don't think you'll be able to see it. Um, but I'm going to post it because Ellen's supposed to send this to me and I'm going to post it. So don't you worry. It will be posted super soon with this. So one of these with this little announcement that's like on fun paper inside of here, put some glitter or some confetti or something inside of there, you know, something really nice um, for them so that when they open it, and then if you want to, you can put a sale flyer in there. So I have a sale flyer um, right here. So if you want, this is actually sale flyers ended, but that's okay. So if you want, you can fold it up like this and then you can put it in the envelope so when they open it, they can see what's on sale, they get the actual invite, and then they have this little announcement thing, and there's glitter or confetti everywhere, and you can take that one or two ways. You can, yes, snail mail, yep. You can take it um, as, yay, I absolutely love, um, I'm sorry, I got a text message and it just distracted, it should not have distracted me. Yay, I love confetti, or oh, I can't believe there's glitter all over my house now, what was she thinking? So. Um, I hope I choose to think number two, <laughs> but they're going to, or number one, they're going to love the confetti and the glitter everywhere. I mean, number one. So anyways, that's how you're going to mail them out. Um, and so what I have noticed is, and my phone, when it did that went up to my notes, but if you do 20 of them, it's a cost like a book of stamps. And so that's all you're doing. So that's your snail mail. And so you're going to like star your top 20 people and you can mail out more if you want. I'm just trying to save you a little bit of money. So find out your top 20 people and the ones that you either really, really, really want to date them or you really want to see them or you think would be really, really great. Um, then that's who I would mail those out to. So that's the mail outs. Um, so we talked about the phone call and then there's the mail outs. Um, okay. So number three is the phone bite. So phonebite.com. So P H O N E B I T E.com. Phonebite.com. You can use postcall.com if you want. Um, I personally like the phone bite better. This is just a personal choice. Every person has to make for themselves. But what you do is you put in all of the phone numbers of everybody, like pre put them in, and then you make one message, and then you can schedule it to be um, sent out to them. And then if they don't pick up, then it goes down their voicemail. If they do pick up, they get your message. So the day of, you can be like, hi. It's Samantha, it's everywhere, and I'm so excited that tonight's the open house, and I know you said you wanted to come, I just wanted to give you a reminder and let you know, sorry about the hat, let you know that it's tonight at whatever time, because let's be real, how many of us right now have said we wanted to go do something, or said we wanted to be there, and then, like, we literally forget two hours before, like, you plan on it all week long, and all of a sudden, you're like, so I'm supposed to do something today, right? So... It's called the phone bite. So this is how you're gonna get them. Then you have the virtual invite. After all of the other things are done, then you need to set up a Facebook um, event and you can make a virtual invite that you can also text. So if you set up a Facebook event, then you can send out like messages that way. I just don't suggest that you focus on Facebook because if you focus on just Facebook, you're not probably gonna get very far. I mean, you might get somewhere, but we as people, as human beings, just really need to, we need to be touched in different ways, right? You need to be touched by your snail mail. Tell me the last time you got something in the snail mail that you really wanted and not bills, right? You know, I mean, if I got this in the mail, I'd be like, I'm going, how much fun is that? Or if I couldn't go because I couldn't go to the day, I'd be really disappointed and I might call you and say, I can't go, I'm so disappointed. But then I can be invited to something else, right? 
So you get the snail mail, and then you get the actual phone call. So if I'm actually, I can actually see Chuck's me using the example. I'm actually gonna call you on the phone and say, Chuck, I want you at my party so bad. I want you to be there, right? My holiday open house so bad. And that means I care about you, right? Like I'm actually physically calling you, and then I'm sending you an invite in the mail, and then I'm gonna also send you like a phone bite that's a reminder. So the Facebook is just like the extra. It's the it's the it's the extra icing on the cake. Not even the icing, the extra icing, you know, because sometimes you want to eat the flour that's the icing on the cake, right? Not the icing, but the flour icing, if that makes any sense. It does to me. I hope it does to you. Um, and then you can make a virtual invite. I talked about this a couple weeks ago, but I'm going to actually share this to you on my phone. Um, I use Red Stamp right here. Um, can you guys see Red Stamp? It is an app that's free, and so you can go online and use it, and it's an app. That's why I like it. So you can make an invite that you can actually text out to everybody. So after you um, have like written down who can come and who can't, say, okay, well, I'm going to send you a virtual invite as well. And they're like, oh, great. That'll be wonderful. And then you can text them this virtual invite. All right, let me go back to where I was. Um, okay, so let's see. I have a question real quick. I want I want to... I want to answer it. Um, I do that. I'm ready to go, and it's two hours early, but 30 minutes after it's over. See? Exactly. Exactly. That's so true. So if you had a reminder, it would be a little bit easier. Okay, so before I go on to the next part of how to do it online, do we have any questions? Okay. That either means A, I did a really, really, really good job explaining, right? Or B, you guys are so lost and you have no questions whatsoever because you're like, I don't even know what to ask because I don't even know where she is. I hope it's number one and not number two, right? Okay. So let's do it how to do it online. Well, first, this might not be super successful the same way for everyone. And I want to talk about that for just a hot minute. Um, you need to have an active Facebook page. And what I mean by that is if you aren't putting people from parties and such on your page regularly, then it might not be active. So like if you have, um, is Phonebyte website or app? It's actually a website. I don't know if it's an app yet. That's a good question. I don't know if I've ever used it as an app. I never have, I should say, but I know you can find it online. Good question. So I have had numerous people say, why is your stuff so successful online and mine isn't? And I always struggled with saying, do you want me to tell you the truth or do you want me to lie to you? You know, and so I'm just going to tell you the truth. I think the reason why some of my stuff is a little bit more successful than some other people's is because I use my Facebook page as a tool. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I use my Facebook page as a business tool all the time. So I'm constantly adding people on my Facebook page. Um, I mean, yes, it is like a personal thing for me as well because I do have my personal friends on there. But if you looked at my Facebook page and how many people I had on there, I would say probably 85% are either Tupperware consultants or Tupperware people from like parties and whatnot. You know, like actual people, that's business. And 15% of it isn't really. Um, and so that's why I feel like some of my stuff is successful on there. So if you have 300 friends on your Facebook page and you're like, woohoo, I just posted. And that means I talked to 300 people. No, that's not true. Because A, 300 out of 300 people, how many are consultants that are your friends, right? And already see and know this stuff? Or B, how many people have unfollowed you or don't even get on Facebook very often? So you have to think about that. So so here are some tips to help you make this very successful and to help you make it successful throughout the year. So if you want to have a like business page, go for it. I think that's wonderful. I actually restarted one up recently um, and I've been working on that, but it is a work in progress. I find that my actual Facebook page for me is the one that I have been working on for so many years and that's why it's so successful. Again, for me, it's successful. Not everybody does the same thing. Okay, so. Um, Here's where to start. So you're gonna post on your Facebook page that you're starting a private VIP sales specials page and you'd like to add anyone that would like to be added. So comment or like if you want added. Um, you don't want to just add everybody because let's be real, how many of you have been added to groups and you're like, if one more person adds me to the stinking group, I'm going to scream. 
there is a specific direct sales company out there right now that they add me every day that to a different group of it and it drives me crazy like I actually physically won't buy from this direct sales company because they annoy me and I know that sounds terrible and I'm I probably shouldn't have said that out loud, but it's true. They annoy me. So you don't want to be that person, right? So you want to ask them, can I put you in my group? If so, comment or like, and I will add you, right? Um, then you add them to the group. It's a private group, like a secret private, whatever it is, so that only the people in the group can see it. Don't post a crazy ton amount or you're going to lose your audience. This is where you post your sales and the stuff you want to sell like your stock. So here's how you're going to post your stock. You're going to take clean pictures out of the package, good lighting, and put the retail price and the sale price. So if you just, like, I do I have anything here? Um, you know what? I do. Hang on. I'm going to show you an example. I thought I was going to show you an example. I oh, am yeah, right here. My chair just, like, slid like butter across the floor, and it has not done that since I bought it. I don't know what happened to the chair, but it's like it was oil. Okay, see this? People actually put a picture, set up for ideal goals, right? Even though I know these are the dating gifts right now, I'm just saying. They'll actually post this, $15, and then people are expected to buy them. <laughs> is this very appealing? <gasps> no. So don't do that. Take them out of the package and put them together and try to find some good lighting. Um, that's cute. Chuck has one. If you guys can see his picture, that's really, really cute. Actually, speaking of that, Chuck, when you do um, put your stuff together like that in a package, make it look pretty like that, right? If it's not pretty, people don't want to buy it. I mean, that's very pretty. And so that would be a really good example of something that you could do. Um, and when I say clean pictures, think about your background. Like my background right now, this is not the cleanest background. I know this. This is my office. And this is just where everything's been thrown since I got back from Ohio. And I just feel like my... Um, my whole, you know, everything has been kind of crazy and I'm trying to get that back together. So I would not take a picture um, <laughs> with another picture. That's a very pretty one too, actually. Um, I would not take a picture of this. I would make sure it's clean. I've actually seen people take pictures in the background. There's their dirty dishes. We all have dirty dishes, but we don't want to see them, right? So when I say take clean pictures, I mean take clean pictures out of package, good lighting, put the retail price and the sale price. We're not allowed to sell for less than what the sale price was. If you don't know for sure, then give it your best guess. Um, so how else can you do this? So if you wanted to, you could say, um, hey, to anybody who couldn't make it to the open house or was thinking they wanted to buy something or they didn't buy what they really wanted to buy, anything that's left over, I'm going to put on my Facebook group page. If you want to be added, then please let me know. And so I have done that a lot. I've done like an open house in my own home because I wanted the people to come and I wanted to have the interaction with them. And then what didn't sell, I would post on there for people who could not make it. I'm gonna ask you an A, B, C question. Are you guys ready? What is the point of an open house and online sales? Is it A, to get rid of some old stock so you can reinvest in the new stock for the new year? Is it B, to date new parties for the new year? Is it C, to recruit new people and help them pay off their kit? Or is it D, all the above? D, exactly, exactly, D. Okay, so I think that I know, and actually the funny thing is, is I put LOL, so I would remember to laugh like I needed to remind I laugh at my own self sometimes. Okay, so, um, so have your hostess gifts ready. So these are not very pretty, all wrapped up like this, but I wanna show you something that I do whenever we have these little bowls, cause they're so perfect and cute for this. And this drives my husband crazy. And it's, I'll tell you, it's so funny. I buy the little Debbie hostess cakes and then I wanna show you what I do. And so, I haven't opened them, I just bought them. And then I put them inside of here. You sometimes have to do a little maneuver and to get them inside of there. Oh, they actually say Little Debbie on the package. They didn't used to. And then you put them on. And then I buy these little bags. And I have them right here. Well, I have them right here. My cat is literally sitting on top of them. So let me see if I can. I have another set over here. I'll use this to show you. 
I buy these at Michael's and they have different shapes and sizes so I can use them for like like the keychains and then I can use them for like smaller things, right? So I put them in here. Oh, look at C Chuck. See, he's so prepared. I wonder where he learned it from. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm trying to say that I taught him that and I didn't actually. He taught me his rapping skills, just so you know. He's really good. Um, and so I put them down inside of here and I put some ribbon or some tool or whatever. And then I put a little thing on there that says, you're the hostess with the mostest. Or as the hostess, you take the cake, right? Something cute like that. Because I want these at my open house because I want to like bribe you to do a party right because that's the point we don't want to just sell our stock to go woohoo we have now Christmas money to buy that Hatchimal that's $500 online right we don't want to do that right but I know that they're the big hot item right now I only know because my friends are telling me this but um we want to make sure we're reinvesting. So yes, I usually take some of that money and put it in my pocket, like woohoo yay for me. But a lot of that, I actually take and buy like the new Hostess gift set that's going to be coming out in the new catalog. I'll buy things that I'm going to need for the new year, right? So that's why um, I actually do these, these events. So that's one of them. But when you're dating parties, you can have these set aside and you can have like a cute little basket full of them. And you can say, take one of these dates and then you get to take a little bowl home with you. And on your way home, you can have a little neat treat. You know, it's so nice. So that's something that you can do to date um, at your holiday open house. Another thing is recruiting. I just bought these because um, I was doing something different and it worked and it was okay, but um, when I was at Fall Fest, I, I saw Loretta do something that I've seen her do like a hundred million a million times. And, but it's for some reason, it's something just clicked in my head. Has anybody ever done that? You've gone to a training, you've heard the same exact thing like a hundred times, but all of a sudden something clicks in your head. So she has this bag that she calls the golden opportunity bag. It's like a gold sparkly bag, which always gets my attention when I was at the meetings because it's sparkly. And she'd have like all her, her, um, her um, paychecks and things in there, and she would show them because she'd say, "This, you know, Tupperware's a golden opportunity." So I bought little golden opportunity bags, right? So I'm gonna put like um, cute little things in there that talk about the opportunity and maybe a couple little like itty bitty gifts, and then I'm gonna put some pretty, pretty um, tissue paper and tool and things like that, and I'm gonna put a little keychain right here. And um, I just want to, so when people are at the party, I can say, "Look." You know, like for example, I can see Chuck. So when he's when I can see you, then you're the one that's the example all the time. So if Chuck came over to the house and I knew that he was like, you know, kind of interested or kind of, you know, just meh, I don't know, meh, I'm not sure. I would say take this little golden opportunity back home with you and read it. And I'm gonna call you and I would give him 48 hours to read it because let's be real, it will take us two days to read anything that somebody gives us. And I'm saying I'm gonna call you in two days and I wanna go over it with you, or we could Bring this with you to um, Starbucks. Let's go to Starbucks because they have the pretty new cups out. And I'm going to buy you a cup of coffee. And it's going to be so great. And we can take Instagram photos of all our, um, our coffees. And then we can go through the bag together, right? And he'll be like, yeah, why wouldn't I go to Starbucks to get a pretty cup of coffee with you and take Instagram pictures? And then say, bring the bag with you after you've read it. And we'll go through it. And it will be no pressure whatsoever. It's just to answer some questions. And I mean, like, do you see how we can turn into a recruiting on that, you know, and <laughs> you're distracting me. <laughs> so that's why I wanted to show you some different things that you could do at your holiday open house party. Um, and I think the most important thing is to realize that there's actual work that goes involved. There's pre-work. There's making your little things together. There's putting out the invites. There's putting your little bags together. You know, there's making sure that you put the virtual invite out. That's making sure you use the phone right, right? All of these things that you can do to make it super successful. Do I suggest that you do this with only three days time to prep and prepare? Probably not. So I know Thanksgiving is coming up and a lot of you want to do like Black Friday specials, which I think is wonderful. And if you want to do a Black Friday open house and you can get it all together between now and then, I think that's super amazing, especially if you're doing something like on a smaller scale. But I'm thinking using this as like an end of year. So you can do every year that people are looking forward to. You know, you can even say, like I have uh, right here is my little clipboard and I take this with me to my parties. Um, this is like my little Tupperware clipboard. It has like my November calendar on the back. We'll have my December calendar. And of course, when December, it'll be December, January. But I can even have another sheet inside of here, which I have not done yet. But, um, you know, if you want to do this, you can put a sheet inside of here and say, if you want to be on 
my end of year holiday list where I actually invite you to a very exclusive um, holiday party where we have a lot of stuff that's discounted prices and then you can get um, some extra goodies. Um, go ahead and put your name and address and phone number on here and your email and I will be sure to make sure you get an invite. So this is something that you could do every single year. It's like a build, right? Um, so this is something just to kind of help you now and in the future. So I want to make sure I touch base on all of those things. Okay, so I see people who are saying something and I missed it. Let's see what I, what I missed up here. Unfollowed. Me? Are you kidding? I have people begging to follow me, <laughs> Patricia. Um, and Jessica said me. I don't know what she said me about, but yes, Jessica, me. Um, Chuck and I did that too and sold four. Um, right, because, okay, I'm probably talking about the um, wrapping. So, yes, perfect. All right, so um, we finished on time. That's because I had everything in my phone and I was very prepped and prepared. You're welcome. So, um, any questions that you have about maybe something that you want to try, did it work? or did work, or something you wanted to ask me, because I've done tons of these. And I will tell you, I've had some that were pretty big flops. And then I've had some, okay, this is so funny. I actually was gonna, I forgot to say this, but um, let me grab a keychain. I have a little drawer of my special keychains that no one else has. Some of these, I'm absolutely sure that you guys knew I had. You would probably break into my house to steal. Let me show you one of them. I'm gonna show you one. You guys are gonna freak out in about two seconds. Are you guys ready? I was gonna show you this one because it's a little cupcake that opens up, but that one's not too impressive. I'm sure most of you have seen this, but I know you guys, only a few of you have seen these. Ha ah, ha, it won't open, open. I'm doing my open house this Saturday on Small Business Saturday and I need help. Did this help at all? I hope it did. Okay, look. Are you guys freaking out how cute this is? And it opens. It's a mini chop and prep. Ooh. I know you guys are freaking out about that right now, aren't ya? Do you think that this should be the aha gift? Do you think so? <laughs> Dixie says, oh my lord, where'd you get that? I can't reveal my secret. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do have um, a few of these actually, and I keep these in a special stock just for days like this. So I wasn't gonna do, actually this wasn't a director special. This was open when I bought it that anybody there could have bought it. <sighs> I got it at Jubilee a few years ago. <laughs> no one will tell you my secrets. Anyway, so I have one of these. I wasn't going to do an aha gift because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to the post office in time this week, but I realized I actually have to go on Tuesday. So um, this will be the aha gift. So you have to post an aha on the champion page tonight before 10 o'clock my time. And aha obviously has to tag me, tag your director, and tag Pam Clift. And you know what else? If you have a manager that's above you, tag them too. Because I actually got a comment that sometimes people don't realize that their people are even on. They're like, oh, you were on? I didn't know you were on. I was on. So if you, for example, have a manager that's directly above you, um, tag your manager too. Um, so yeah, make sure you post your uh -huh for this. Okay, so anyways, I got off track what I was going to say. But I buy these cute little bags and then I put my keychains in them and I put like a little bow on them. These sell for $3 a piece, you guys, just because they're in a bag with a bow. I, 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 I don't know. This sells for $1. This together sells for 3 I don't know why, but it does. So do it because it will, it will help, okay? All right. Any questions at all, share them with me. No questions? Okay. Well... Um, oh, here, dollar bags, dollar trees, where I get my, yeah, you can go get them wherever you want. I happen to get these at Michael's because I had coupons, and I like the Michael's ones. I don't know why I like them better. Um, I tried different ones, and I think everybody has to just 
get what they like, right? Actually, I like Pam Cliffs better, and she orders them from some Tennessee company, and every time she tells me where she orders them, I forget, and then I ask her again, and she's probably like, I'm really sick of you asking me where I order these bags. I tell you all the time, and so I just stop asking her. Okay, so, oh, you're the best, too. You're so nice. I can see you tomorrow. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Um, we are done a little bit early, which is super fantastic. So please make sure that you go. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't do romper room. Oh, we have to romper, romper, bumper room. All right, who do we have? We've got Candy Manley. I have not seen your name yet, and I like your name, Candy. You got a cool name. And we have Chris, a.k.a. Dixie Longay. Hi, Dixie. And we have Chuck. Hello. And then we have Patricia Fresh. Hello. Oh, look, and there's Patricia. I, can't, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Castillo? Did I say that right? Castillo? I'm not saying this right, am I? Okay, I'm sorry. But I, I see you, Patricia. And then Johnny. What's up, Johnny? I see you this week. And we have Deary D. I don't know who Deary D is. Cast. Oh, oh okay, good. Thank you. Um, but I like your name. That's such a cool name. We have Candy and Deary. Cool name. And then we got Marion and Lisa on and Tiffany is on and Tammy is on and Brenda's on. What's up, Brenda and Melissa? I think I met Melissa when I was in town. I'm pretty sure I did. Deborah Cunningham. Oh, Deary D is Deborah Cunningham. I still love it, Deary D. And Cindy and Jessica, I think it's Jessica Gordon. I think we had two Jessicas, but I think this one's Jessica Gordon. Tracy Straw's on, Jennifer's iPhone, which I'm pretty sure that's Jenny, and she doesn't like being called Jennifer. So what's up, Jenny? I'm glad you got on. And hey, you guys, just so you know, I recorded this, so I'm gonna post the recording. Yes, you did meet me, I walked in and gave you, I thought you did, I really, really thought you did. Um, um, it's, oh, it's Jen, Knop, knop, cop, knop. I'm, I'm not good at last names, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's Jen. All right, you guys, I'm so excited that you guys were on tonight and you shared this with me. I miss my Sunday night so much. Um, I do, and I hope that we actually don't miss another Sunday night. So you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving, a wonderful, super amazing Thanksgiving. I'm going to tell you exactly where we're going to be on Thanksgiving, watching Gilmore Girls all day long. Bam, because that's going to be epic. Just saying, I'm not cooking. But you guys um, have a really super sparkly night. I did record this. I will post this. I will post everything that I can um, in the next couple days. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a ring and make sure you post your ahas so you can get your little cute keychain. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.